take a live look at our satellite and radar, you'll notice that the deeper convection, the storms over towards Omaha, Lincoln this morning and skirting to the north of Kansas City. Uh, but we've got a few light little showers showing up into Prowers County over towards Springfield in the Baca County. Again, a lot of this is simply Virga not sitting in the ground. But we do have cloudy skies as you take that live look. Uh, 69 degrees in Pueblo right now. Winds are out of the northeast at about 14 miles an hour. Temperatures hovering anywhere from the upper 50s to the upper 60s across the plains. It's 36 in Leadville, 53 Salida, and 58 currently in Walsenburg. Now today, those temperatures are going to be coming down. We've got highs in the low 80s, Colorado Springs, the upper 80s for Pueblo, and some upper 80s close to 90 towards Springfield this afternoon, 85 Trinidad as well as Salida and Canyon City. Even cooler tomorrow as this upper level trough kind of moves across the area, drives a cold front into the region. Cooler temperatures, showers and thunderstorms again tomorrow afternoon. We get more of a northwesterly flow developing as that trough exits on Saturday, but still a few scattered showers showers and thunderstorms in the mountains and up and over the higher terrain. Threat today will be east of Pueblo and Colorado Springs. Isolated severe storms in the darker green. Better chance as you roll out across the far eastern plains. So as you take a look at our future cast here Thursday morning at 6 a.m., you'll notice that we've got partly cloudy skies. Then showers and thunderstorms firing as we go into the afternoon. 2, 3, 4 o'clock. That's a good bet. And especially out across the eastern plains, that's where we'll see some of that deeper convection today. Tomorrow, kind of in that low-end threat risk. General Colorado Springs and Pueblo. And then again, a couple of stronger storms possible. But tomorrow will be a day that we likely see kind of more rain showers and thunderstorms embedded in them as they go into the lunch hour. You'll notice that 12, 1, 2 o'clock, we see showers and thunderstorms moving across the Palmer Divide down into Colorado Springs and Pueblo and then east out across the plains as we head into the afternoon. That's where we could again see a few of those stronger storms tomorrow. Lingering showers into tomorrow evening, then partly cloudy as we head overnight into Saturday morning. Highs tomorrow are going to again be cool in the mid 70s, Colorado Springs, low 80s for Pueblo, 78 Canyon City and Walsenburg, 83 Lamar and 77 in Burlington tomorrow afternoon. Seven day forecast Monument Palmer Lake tomorrow will feature the highest chance for rain showers and a few embedded thunderstorms. But a daily afternoon chance for showers and thunderstorms through Sunday and into Monday. Woodland Park, 66 is the cool mark tomorrow. Then we'll climb back into the mid-70s Sunday. The upper 70s close to 80s. Uh, by your 4th of July on Tuesday and the 4th of July will feature isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. So cool for a couple of days, then warmer temperatures by the end of the weekend. Pueblo isolated this afternoon, but showers and thunderstorms possible tomorrow. Dry, relatively speaking, heading into the weekend. We're back into the low 90s Sunday, low and mid 90s Monday and Tuesday for the 4th of July. And finally for Colorado Springs, 82 this afternoon, 75 with rain showers and thunderstorms. Uh, likely on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 70s and 80s. And as we head towards the 4th of July, 50-50 shot that we